Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, home of the Grand Ole Opry. The honky-tonks and nightclubs around Broadway are where musicians and singers come to get their big break. Countless American entertainers have called Nashville home at some point during their careers. But did you know many of today's top performers don't live in Nashville at all? They mostly reside due south in the communities of Brentwood and historic Franklin. Another spot that's become really popular with celebrities is Leaper's Fork, which we will cover in a separate video. Walk around the streets of downtown Franklin and it's easy to see why this has become one of the top 10 places to live in America, even if you're not a celebrity. Everything you can imagine can be found in this beautiful historic community, which by the way, has the highest per capita income in the entire state. Today we're going to show you around and tell you what you should see and do in Franklin, Tennessee. <laughs> Franklin was founded in 1799 and named to honor national founding father Benjamin Franklin. White landowners prospered greatly during the antebellum years from crops like tobacco and hemp, prosperity that came on the backs of enslaved African Americans. One of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War was fought in Franklin resulting in thousands of casualties and losses on both sides. More than a century and a half later, three historic houses have been preserved to communicate the story of the Second Battle of Franklin with visitors. At 1140 Columbia Avenue stands the Carter House, a property that vividly illustrates the brutality of war through hundreds of bullet holes still visible on exterior walls. Across the street is the Lotz House, which saw its own share of battle damage and later served as a field hospital. A short drive outside downtown is the Carton Plantation, a federal and Greek Revival-style mansion where hundreds of wounded Confederate soldiers were treated. One bedroom that served as an operating room has blood-stained wood floors. In the decades that followed after the war, African Americans were subjected to extreme acts of violence. Just recently, city leaders have started to acknowledge that important part of Franklin's history through a series of markers like this one. They tell the story of how life in Franklin impacted African Americans who were living here before the Civil War, during the Battle of Franklin, and after the war was over. Twenty first century Franklin is a bustling place that carefully balances heritage with new growth. The city's downtown historic district covers 15 blocks, with Main Street being its heart and soul. Countless architecturally significant buildings have been lovingly preserved and today house all types of businesses, from shops and boutiques to some of the best eateries this side of Nashville. We're going to show you some of our downtown favorites, but first, Here's a couple of quick tips you should know before you go. Want to get your visit to Franklin started the right way? You can do it at this building, the Visitor Information Center. Located at the corner of Main Street and 4th Avenue, the staff here is very knowledgeable about everything Franklin and will provide useful information for your stay. The Visitor Center also has a variety of Franklin merchandise available for purchase. Parking in the downtown core is restricted and enforced Monday through Friday during normal business hours. If you plan to be here a while, it's best to park in one of the city's two free parking garages. You'll find them on 2nd Avenue South and 4th Avenue South. Years
years ago as a Tennessee native, I fell in love with the Frothy Monkey in Nashville's popular 12th South neighborhood. So it's only fitting I make a stop at their Franklin location to pick up one of my favorite hot drinks to get the day started. Frothy Monkey is an all-day cafe, specialty coffee roaster, and wholesale bakery all in one. They also have a location in Chattanooga. As you move around Franklin, be sure to keep your eyes open for a vintage Airstream. Thank you for coming in. We've been in business here at this location now for three years. This is our flagship Airstream. It's a 1977 that we repurposed into a tiny little donut shop. All natural ingredients, great vibe. We hope you all come and see us. They're nice and hot when they come out. I've got glazed on mine with sprinkles, crunch on the outside of the donut, chewy and delicious on the inside. It is so good. And these cute little forks, how can you go wrong? I got their classic cinnamon sugar, one of their best sellers, and they gave me a little silver fork. How cool is that? In addition to the timeless glaze and classic cinnamon sugar, Tiny Little Donuts serves up fresh lemon glazed, old school powdered sugar, special dark chocolate glazed, and simply plain, plus seasonal favorites. You can find Tiny Little Donuts at these locations. The Honky Tonks along Broadway don't have anything on this place. The legendary Kimbrough's Pick'em Parlor is an old-fashioned juke joint where greats like Vince Gill, Leon Russell, Winona Judd, and Emmy Lou Harris have played. Locals consider Kimbrough's to be the best place to hear live music in the Nashville area, just behind that other famous place, the Ryman Auditorium. Next door is downtown Franklin's Record Shop. Carpe Diem. If you're looking for rare vinyl, this place is a treasure trove. And the carefully curated selection of vintage items is a nice bonus. Lots of great finds here. White's Mercantile started out inside a vintage gas station in Nashville's hip 12 South neighborhood. Described as a general store for the modern tastemaker, it was the brainchild of singer-songwriter Holly Williams, the daughter of Hank Williams Jr. Everything inside White's Mercantile is carefully curated, showing some of Holly's favorite items she has discovered while on the road. Great selection of men's products here from brands like Filson and Duke Cannon. And if you're looking to pick up something for a little one in the family, White's has a healthy selection of retro inspired toys. Dating back to the early 1800s and believed to be the oldest commercial building still standing in historic Franklin, the old factory store has been utilized as a little bit of everything, from banks and restaurants to juke joints and even an officer's club. Early visitors included the likes of Andrew Jackson, Sam Houston, and Davy Crockett. Today, it's home to Landmark Books, an independent mom-and-pop bookseller with tens of thousands of new, old, and hard-to-find rare books. The crown jewel of Main Street is the historic Franklin Theater. This show palace opened in 1937 with the film Night Must Fall, starring Robert Montgomery and Rosalind Russell. Today, it not only plays movies, but is a truly epic live music venue. One of Tennessee's most unique shopping, dining, and entertainment venues is just outside downtown. Constructed in the late 1920s, the factory includes just under a dozen Depression-era buildings that originally made stoves. Today, it's on the National Register of Historic Places. 
After sitting empty for many years, it was restored and turned into a spot for creatives and artisans to showcase their talents. Some of our favorites, Fork of the South, a general store that supports more than 80 makers and small businesses. CR 71, a unique mix of reclaimed furniture and upcycled items. And Five Daughters Bakery, home of the 100 layer donut. You have to try one of these. Franklin is known for its wealth of antique shops. It is a Middle Tennessee mecca for all things antique and vintage. Home and lifestyle brand Scarlet Scales offers an eclectic mix of unique trinkets and architectural lighting pieces that makes this far from the stereotypical antique shop. The second location of Mercantile 1858 is a locally owned home decor and gift boutique that aims to turn your house into a home with one-of-a-kind items that tell a story. These are two of our favorite shopping experiences in Franklin. Be sure to list your favorites in the comments section down below.